Hey, what's up, Reapers? Your boy Kenny here, High Tide Aquatics, Oakland, California. I get a lot of customers coming in and asking what I feed my corals here at the shop and then all the displays and the flats. Um, so we're gonna do a quick little video of how I prep, what I feed, and how I feed. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, we're gonna shut off our return pumps. So if you have an Apex and you have feed mode set up, you go ahead and do feed mode, which I have on this tank here. Uh, feed mode is set for 45 minutes. Uh, my weight maker is going to feed mode, return pump is off, skimmer's off. On 15 minutes, have the return pump kicks back on. That gives it a good 45 minutes for all the foods and all the aminos to swirl around in the tank and let your pulls consume them all up. Uh, so if you have an Apex, go ahead and hit E mode. Otherwise, you're gonna just unplug your return pump and set a reminder on your phone for 45 minutes later to kick that thing back on. All right, so I'm gonna measure out this AB plus here. Um, this tank is 112 gallons. I'm just gonna hit it with the uh, 20 mils. Add this stuff in there. I would love the coloration. You know, something's going on. And we'll let that stir in there for about 10 minutes. And while that's stirring around is a good time to start prepping the food and dissolving the frozen stuff. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So almost all corals have an acid receptor inside of them. So when you add something like an amino acid to a tank, it's gonna trigger a feeding response from those acid receptors. Um, and why that feeding response is triggered, their polyps are gonna extend and open up more to be more open to taking in the foods we're about to give them. Um, I like to feed my tank after lights out because naturally that's what corals feed, so it's a good time to do it. For the video purpose we're doing it in the middle of the day here at the shop um, so the corals are going to consume a little bit more energy to put out those polyps for feeding because uh, they're not used to it they're used to doing it at night but yeah it's really good for them and it's going to help them uptake all the foods that we're about to throw at them so let's get started with that all right so what i got going on here this is just ro water um, the powders I use, I use the Captivate Aquaculture, the Reef Blueprint line, Integrate Reef and Invigorate Reef. I also use the Benepex. Um, as far as Frozens, I love the Rod's Foods. I use the Coral Blend, the Polyp Poppers, and the Tentacle Teasers. And then I use the Reef Nutrition uh, Real, Oyster, Real Ocean Eggs, excuse me, the Phyto Live, and the Oyster Feast. So now I'm going to add this stuff to the RO water. All right, so first I'll add the powders. Here's a little bit of Benepex. Nice, happy scoop. Remember, I'm feeding a lot of corals here, a lot of tanks at the shop, so I'm gonna put a lot of food in here. I'm sure in your home tanks, you're not gonna be using as much. All right, and then I just kind of mix this up just for a second. I really love this Captivate stuff. It has a really low phosphorus count, so it's not gonna shoot your phosphates a little bit way up like other things will. After this dissolves up, I'll let it wait about 10 minutes. All right, this thing's all good and thought out and all mixed up, soaked up. So we're ready to hit these corals up. Uh, I'm not a target feeder. I broadcast feed everything. Even big acanthos and cinerinos, stuff like that, I 
broadcast feed every once in a while, drop some pellets on them. But for the most part, I broadcast feed everything. Um, also, if you're feeding in the daytime and you got your return pump off and whatnot, it's a good time to feed your fish too if you have food mix ready because uh, the corals are going to consume some of the nutrients that are coming out of the fish boots. And it'll make the fish poop more too. Which is coral food. So yeah, let that stir around for a good like it's got to have another 35 minutes to swirl around in there and let those corals just consume it all, soak up all those nutrients and uh, just make them nice, fat, healthy, more resilient to all the swings we throw at our tanks, alkalinity swings, tip swings, salinity swings, all that stuff. A happy, strong, resilient coral is going to be a uh, just an overall healthy specimen and resilient. All right, so this tank's done. You guys got a good um, visual and somewhat understanding of how I do this at the shop and feed this tank. I got a whole lot more corals to feed, so I'm gonna go feed them and I will see you guys on the next one.